Those condoms ain't mad. I know, I put them there. That does not mean I want you to go on a college tour and act a fool. I just want you to protect yourself. Man, you can't tap no ass with no busting on. Shit. I'll make do. I ain't trying to hide in here my whole life. Look, what happened to you? No. I'm good. You don't have to be strong all the time, bro. Yeah, we do. Love you. Love you too. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love the shy, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today we're going to be talking about the Shy Season 4, the official clip that they put out between Jake and your boy Trig. And of course, they're talking about Jake going on this college tour and things like that. And of course, we know it's about to go down on this college tour, right? Now I want you guys to check out my episode 2 What to Expect video. I dropped that earlier. Um, a lot of you guys have been supporting the video. So check that video out if you have not seen it. Let me know exactly what you think is going to happen in this next episode. I'll let you know exactly what I thought in the video. Um, and I'm going to tell you right now, it's definitely about to be a very interesting episode too. Um, and we're going to continue to talk about The Shy Season 4. It's been a, a hell of a premiere. And now we're ready for the next episode. Now in this official trailer or teaser scene that they dropped, um, we see Jake, of course, He's having a conversation with Imani. Imani says, look, I put the condoms right there because I want you to be safe. You're going on a college tour and something just may go down. Now, as I told you guys about what to expect, we know that Jake will be, you know, having some jungle fever. He will be hooking up with Becky with the good hair in this next episode. Now, the question is, as I told you guys, most likely what I'm thinking this girl just may be a student at another school. Usually on college tours, it'd be all types of different other schools as well that go on these tours. Um, but then again, it could just be their school and then they can meet up with college kids and then that's it. But usually I know from my personal experience, it usually be other schools as well and everybody links up. But at the end of the day, we know Jake is definitely going to be hooking up with this young lady. And from the looks of it, it's about to go down. Now, a lot of people have been saying that Jake his character development has been very, very good. He has developed a whole lot since the very beginning of the series. And in season four, this is, I would say, probably the biggest um, change in his character. He's going to have to grow up. He's going to have to do a lot of different things. So in this scene, you know, Treg is telling him, look, you don't have to be strong all the time. You know what I'm saying? And then Jake is like, yeah, yes, we do. You know what I'm saying? I have to be strong. And he's been through a lot. This kid has been through a lot in the, throughout the whole series of the show. So I would expect your boy Jake to go in and have those type of feelings. At the same time, he does appreciate Treg and Imani. He loves them. He appreciates them and what they've done for him. Um, now, when it comes to Duda, that's a whole nother story. A whole nother story. He don't have those same feelings for Duda. But that's because he knows Duda, of course, has something to do with his brother Reg being shot and killed, right? So that's why he has those feelings towards him. But in this next episode, I will expect Jake, Kevin to go through it. Some people say this could be the beginning of the end. They're going to have a fallout. Well, we know it's going to be a fallout for damn sure. And that's definitely going to happen um, once Gemma and Jake start hanging around each other. Now, besides this scene that we just saw, I got a feeling when it comes between Jake and Gemma, eventually they're going to start hanging out, but it seems like she may feel kind of bad for what happened to him and how he stood up against the police. He stood his ground. Um, on the other hand, we got Kevin in this next episode. The way he is acting, people have been saying that he's kind of neglecting Gemma. He ain't really trying to talk to her like that. Well, he was ignoring her calls in the last episode. He didn't really want to go to that, you know, that student event with her in the last episode. So if Jake swoops in and starts to hang out with her, go to these events, that means she's going to start liking Jake a little bit more. Now, I honestly believe she probably already likes him. But once Kevin messes up completely, once him and Gemma kind of get into it, which I think we're going to see very, very soon, that's going to give, you know, Jake 
that confidence to step in. And it's also going to give Gemma the confidence in the disrespect to even play your mans like that. You're going to go and mess with his friend? Like, really? But that's what she's going to do, right? At the end of the day, Jake and Gemma will be hooking up. I don't know what episode is going to, it's going to happen, um, but it's going to happen very, very soon. Kevin is not all the way there. Mentally, he's not all the way there. Now, I've been saying this since the since the season started, um, and I'm pretty sure you guys have been seeing. You guys let me know down below. Who has been affected the most after the events of Kevin and Jake? Who do you think has been affected the most? Now, you will think Jake because he's the one that got hemmed up and got hurt by the police. But we're seeing Kevin have a mental breakdown from drinking, smoking. We're about to see in this next episode, he's going to be drinking again. He's going to be popping pills again at this college tour. It's not looking too good for him. So it's looking more worse for him. And it's slightly looking better for Jake as far as his character development, um, stealing Kevin's girl, and overall just growing. It seems kind of good for him, man. And I just got a feeling, man, it's not going to end well. Hopefully, hopefully Kevin and Jake is able to get over what's about to happen in the future. And they don't let Gemma break that friendship up, that brotherhood up. But you know how it is in real life. Sometimes things like this do happen and sometimes friendships stop. Hopefully that's not the case in Kevin and Jake's matter and they can work things out. With Papa in the mix, he ain't going to let them just, you know, give up on each other. Papa is going to be the person that's going to say, you know what? I'm going to make sure my boys are going to squash whatever they got and stick together. But um, I can't wait to see how it all is going to play out, man. The Shy season four so far has been solid. Um, and in this scene, you know, it's just love, man. For, for Jake to even say, look, I love you. I mean, it shows just how much he's come and how much he's grown throughout the whole series of the show. And what do you guys think about Imani giving him the condoms? Was that right? I mean, at the end of the day, it's better be, to be safe than sorry. So she did what she had to do. Um, she says she loves Jake. She really wants to look out for him. And also she holds him accountable to make sure he's doing what he needs to do as a young man. Because some people will allow their kids to do whatever they want. And not even have those conversations with them. So we got to give them props for doing that um, in this series. So we're going to see how it's going to go. We're going to see exactly how Treg and Imani and their influence, what it's going to do for Jake. So far, he is growing from it and he's becoming a better person. But at the same time, he still needs some things he needs to work on. Um, but you guys let me know, like I said... Make sure you checked out the episode two what to expect video. You guys let me know what you thought about this scene, how your boy Jake is about to turn up on this college tour, and also the fan theories. We have a lot of new fan theories coming, so I will be breaking those down, and I still have a few more characters that we have to talk about as well when it comes to the Shy Season 4. But thank you guys for all the love, all the support, and I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.